Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dora and today I was thinking that we would go a little bit different from the videos I've uploaded before. Now if you don't know me you might not know this but I have a second Instagram, I'll put a little snippet of it up here, where I do body art, body painting, face painting and that sort of thing. I'm a little bit nervous to bring you guys into this section of the sort of makeup I do because I'm not trained in body art, I don't have any qualifications, I am just just a uh, body art enthusiast, let's say. Now, I have been thinking a lot about Tiger King and Carol Baskin has been getting in my head. So today I thought, after watching the remake of The Lion King again last night, that I was gonna do a big cat style half face. I'm sure you've all seen pictures that are quite similar to the look I'm going for. But we're gonna go sort of like a bronzy gold glam on one side of my face and on the other side of my face, we're gonna turn me into a full blown bloody lion, okay? Now, I don't expect many of you are going to recreate this until potentially Halloween, if we're out of lockdown then, fingers crossed. But I hope if nothing else, you just sit back, relax and enjoy the show. This is the greatest show! So the first thing we're gonna to do to start off this look is cover up one of our eyebrows. Now, because the lion's eye is gonna go quite a bit higher than my natural eye, I need to cover it up with glue. So I'm gonna take the Elmer's washable glue stick. This is the purple color that I'm sure you've seen on a thousand TikToks. And I'm just going to coat my brow hairs in it, push them all the way up and then smush them very, very close to my face, make them as flat as I possibly can. Then once I've coated all of my hairs in the glue, I'm just gonna wait for that to dry. And before I do that, I'm just gonna wipe around any of this excess around the edges so we don't get any bubbles underneath our face paint. Once all my brow hairs are flush to my face, I'm just gonna go in with some translucent setting powder and press all that glue into my skin to make sure there's no bumps or grooves or, you know the drill. And I'm going to be using a powder puff to puff that into my eyebrow. The next step I'm gonna take is going in with a light brown color and just mapping out exactly where I want all the different parts of the lion face. So, oh, got a bit of uh, eyelash there. Um, to do this, I'm gonna take my Revolution eyebrow pencil, just cause it's nice and waxy, but it's also quite faint as well. So I'll be able to sketch out, just like as you would with a pen on a paper, exactly where I'd want the different features of the lion. So I know that the lion's nose is gonna come out a lot wider than mine is. In fact, it's gonna come out to probably about here in relation to my nose. And then I know that the lion's nose is going to meet, I look like I've got a mustache, that's brilliant, isn't it? Uh, and I know that my lion's nose is gonna meet my normal lip here. So I'm gonna bring it down into a muzzle. Okay, so this is the basic map out. We've got our nose, our eye, our temple coming in here, our muzzle and the chin. Um, and I'm going to start by layering some different colors. I'm actually gonna start this with the eye over my brow because I think this is gonna take the longest and then everything else, I fingers crossed, should hopefully just follow in soon. The first paint I'm going in with is the Snazzarudita Classic Kids Face Paint in the color white. And I'm gonna take that on a Spectrum A09 brush, but you just want any small, Thin little brush. I'm gonna spray that with a bit of just a bit of just a bit of water. Just a just a lot of water. Mine has got some blue on it from um an old look I did, so we're just gonna avoid that. And then where I want my eyeball, which this is the socket, so my eyeball is gonna come all the way round here. That's the plan anyway. start colouring that eyeball, I'm going to go in with this mustardy brown shade. And then taking my black snazzery face paint, I'm going to go in and pop the pupil in my eyeball. So now I've got the basic eye shape mapped out in my face paint, I'm going to go in with some different coloured eyeshadows and just 
make this look a bit more impressive than a round dot and some brown smudges. So taking my Juvia's Place palette, I'm, go I'm gonna go in with the color Zakia and Nana and use that to really define the colored part of the eye. I'm then going to go in with a black shadow and really darken up around the pupil. I'm setting underneath this pupil with some yellow. I'm then going to add in the tear duct on this inner corner of the eye. Now we're going to go back in with the white and add our details and also frame this eye with like the whites of the eye. And then I'm just going to go in with a clean finger and bounce that over the edges to disperse some of that white. So while that's drying, I'm just going to start mapping out my nose, my muzzle, and then start adding a few more different colours in here. Now just taking a foundation brush, I'm going to go in with this mustardy colour and mix in some of the darker brown and basically just whack it over all of the areas that I know aren't going to be white because I can always build texture as we go along. Oh, it's bloody boiling in my room today. I'm bloody roasting. Bloody roasting, man. That's a bloody bulk house. A bloody bulk house. So once we've whacked a bit of the first colour on, we're going to whack a bit of the darker colour on. I'm really not taking a lot of time doing this. I'm just whacking it on. So we've got some different tone and then the rest will go over with shadow, but that just gives us a base to work with. So we've got a base colour. Now going black, back, black, back in with my black eyeshadow, I'm just going to shade around the eye. So we need to make it look like there's a socket here. And to do that, we need to take darkness around the outside. Everywhere we've put light, we're going to take dark as well. For our nose, we're going to take the nostril. It's going to come out in a teardrop shape here in this corner. Now taking a big fluffy blending brush, we're going to go back into those two colours from the Juvia's Place palette, the Magic palette, and shade in all around the face. We're also going to take some black right on those outer edges um, and a bit of yellow, bring it all in, blend into my hair. Then taking a slightly smaller foundation brush, I'm going to go back in with my white and create my muzzle and my chin. Then using my black shadow, I'm going to start going in to define that muzzle. In this spot here, I'm going to add a little bit of pink to add a bit of depth to my little nose. And then just taking a big face brush, I'm going to go in with that black and just carve out my face. Now, using a fan brush, I'm going to go in and add some hair-like strokes of white, yellow. Yeah, I should have done the whole video with the curtain open. Okay, so that is the lion portion of our face done. I'm just going to add some liner to that inner lash line. Whack a bit of mascara on. This is the Benefit Bad Gal Bag Mascara. And then I'm just going to quickly wipe off anything that may have got onto this side of my face and then we're going to start on the beauty side now i have to concentrate so much i haven't really spoken to you for the past however long i cut this down to but i started doing but I... oh shit on it shit on it um i started doing body paint and face paint about five or six years ago now i think um 
I'm just gonna take my Smith's brush to put on some foundation while I chat to you about this. I'm gonna go in with the Fenty foundation in the color 210 on this side of my face. Now I started doing sort of body art looks about five or six years ago. I went to a girl guiding festival called Noor Jam and they had someone there doing like fake cuts and scars and bruises and I was obsessed with it and they told you you could do it with cornstarch and things at home so I tried that I went to my local beauty store called Just Essentials in Norwich bought some of their scar wax and just had a play and I remember my mum coming home from work or something and me having this cut all along my arm and me running downstairs going ah mum 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 and really laying it on quite thick and um she honestly thought I had actually cut myself really badly down my arm and I've just always really enjoyed it. Beauty has dominated a lot of the makeup that I do just because just just because it you can do it every day. I'm going to add a bit of my pro base from MUA as well just to vamp up that coverage a bit but I love body pain. I don't know what it is. I just absolutely love it. I think it's fab and it's incredible whenever you get to Halloween or for a fancy dress party and you just always know you can just whack it out. It's a bit of an odd talent to have, but it is a fun one. I'm just gonna try and cover this spot without messing too much of my chin hair up. And then I'm just going to take my Maybelline concealer just to brighten up those under eyes. When I was younger, the person that I used to watch on YouTube the most was Made You Look by Lex and she still does incredible tutorials today and she does the most incredible body art you've ever seen in your life. She is just incredible and she really just was the person to teach me everything that I know about body art basically. Obviously a lot of things you learn as you go along but her, her tutorials were my favourite. Then next is my cream contour and we're gonna go in quite heavy with this. This is the Revolution Stick in F12. I'm gonna bring this really far down and along my jawline today. This stuff blends out like a dream, I swear to God. It's gorgeous. For setting this all in place with my translucent powder from Revolution. Taking my Revolution Bronze and Glow palette I'm gonna go in and just bronze up the beauty side of my face. Then I'm going to go in and highlight my skin with the Revolution Golden Goddess palette. We're gonna add a big, big fat glow on the tops of this cheekbone. I'm gonna go in with my lip liner in, what is this one, Rumour from Primark. And I'm gonna overdraw my lips a bit, I think. Then I'm going to take a bit of Thrill Seeker from Primark. Oh. For my brows, I'm just going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade in Taupe. Then for my eyeshadow, I'm just going to do a really light sort of wing eyeshadow going out with just a nice neutral brown, I think. I'm just going to go in with the colours Met and Main from the Mitchell palette tap off any excess and just really lightly pop them through my crease. Then I'm just going to take my brown gel eyeliner on an angled brush and I'm just doing a bit of a smudgy wing today. I'm not going too mad. And obviously on this side we can't go without a lash so I'm just going to really curl my eyelashes and pop a bit of mascara on them. And for my eyelash today I'm going to take these ones that flare out at the edges take a bit of my latex free lash glue my desk is absolutely disgusting but that's it that is the final look thank you so much for watching my video today i hope you enjoyed it i'm not expecting this to be um something that necessarily you recreate but if you do have a go please make sure to tag me on instagram at exploring makeup or at Dora Bourne and I hope you have a lovely day today I hope if nothing else has just inspired you to get a bit creative do something that you enjoy and make sure you like comment subscribe all that good stuff and have a lovely rest of your day